morning. Hey, you guys, good morning. So over this past weekend, I went to my first traditional live theater. I saw the Tony Award winning musical Kinky Boots at the Paramount Theater in Aurora. I was interested in seeing the show, but also how they were handling their COVID protocol. Here's my Dean's List review. After over a year of COVID dormancy, the performances and staging and colorful costumes came back strong on the Paramount Aurora stage. It's the Tony Award-winning Kinky Boots, about an out-of-date shoe factory in England, about to go out of business until they get the idea to manufacture specialized footwear for drag queens. It's a story about the shoes, but also about choosing to be true to yourself. Devin DeSantis and Michael Wordley are great in the lead roles of Charlie and Lola, more than bringing all the excitement and emotion to this very multi-layered show. And as usual, the Paramount holds nothing back with its choreography and sight and sound for the audiences, all of whom had to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test result at the door before they could get in. Same with the cast and crew and ticket takers and all the employees there. That is part of the new normal in theaters that are beginning to open up again. The Paramount also requires mask wearing at all time. Beverages are served at the concessions, but not food. While seating is not socially distanced, the CDC recommended vaccination requirement and masking all made it feel safe. I do have to say it was weird being back in a big communal group like that, but I did feel safe. I am recommending Kinky Boots at the Paramount playing through October 17th, but everyone needs to move at their own speed for their own comfort and their own safety level.